am I in focus? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I know I want to talk about taboos and taboo subjects, but I also want to kind of incorporate sustainability and my journey with sustainability onto this channel. So this is my first kind of haul slash collection video and I've chosen to do it on one of my favourite brands which is Lucy and Yak. I'll leave all the information below with all the items and their website and all the sizing. Just for reference this is why I'm dressed in all black because everything's quite colourful and size wise I am 5 foot 3 and a UK 10. Let's get into it. Lucy and Yak is one of my favourite brands. They're really passionate about sustainability and ethical shopping um, and production of their clothes, how they're made, who they're made by, the energy that's consumed, organic cotton, all those kind of things. Like I said, I'll leave all the information down below. They also do great blog posts. So without further ado, here's my first item. Lucy and Yak are kind of famous for their dungarees, so it kind of makes sense that my first Lucy and Yak purchase was a pair of dungarees. These are the organic cotton corduroy dungarees. You can see they're like cord. This colour is ash pink. So it's a gorgeous like dusty pink and I actually didn't get these from the Lucy and Yak website. I discovered Lucy and Yak in a boutique in Exeter when I was shopping probably about six months ago and I was really looking for something kind of comfy but cute and none of the other high street shops were doing anything for me. So I went into Sancho's which is the boutique in Exeter. I'll link that down below as well. They're fantastic. Again, ethical clothing, massive on sustainability. And I saw these and it was exactly what I was looking for. So I popped them on the change rooms and I've been obsessed ever since. These dungarees retail for £54, which I think is amazing. You think that sustainable and ethical clothing is always super duper expensive, but these just take a little bit of saving up and £54 is well worth it for the quality. I also got size small and leg length 30. Like I said, I'm a size 10. Um, and these are a nice oversized baggy fit. I will be trying everything on at the end of the video so I can show you how I style them and see how they look on me. So yeah, that was my first Lucy and Yak purchase from Sancho's. Love these, wear them all the time. So about four days after going to Sancho's and discovering Lucy and Yak, I was on Lucy and Yak's website and I was just blown away by the rest of their stock. Everything was so well priced in my opinion. So I decided to put in an order straight away after I bought the pink dungarees um, and these were in that order. These are the Alexa organic cotton high-waisted trousers. So they have an elasticated waist with belt loops, they've got pockets, and then they just kind of taper down in the leg. They're really like voluminous around the hips and the bum, which I love because it makes you look really curvy. And they're so comfy because obviously they've got the elasticated waist. I wear these all the time, pretty much have replaced jeans for me. And I got a size small, Lucy and Yak are working on becoming extremely size inclusive. So it's amazing because they've got a great range of sizes for everyone. And these, if I remember rightly, are £28, which I think is fantastic for a pair of trousers. These are actually so warm, they're like their winter weight trousers. So I've worn them to gigs, I wear them outside all the time, just for a pair of docks, I think they look amazing. And they go with everything. The next item I ordered in my first Lucy and Yak order was this cropped shirt. This is the organic cotton Delilah cropped shirt. Again, it's like a corduroy material, um, and I got it in black because I was like, I have to have some basics that aren't all colours of the rainbow. Um, I paid £35 this, but it's actually on the website at £16 on the sale, which is amazing. Again, I got size small, um, and it fits just right, to be honest with you. You can either wear it as a little top, um, kind of buttoned up, or you can wear it just like a throw over. It looks amazing with the dungarees, all the trousers. It's just kind of an in-between of like a jacket slash shirt when you just need something to pop on as a layer. I'll be trying it on at the end of the video as well so you can see what it looks like. So that's the Delilah organic cotton shirt. They obviously have this in other colors too. And then my final item in my first Lucy and Yak order was another pair of dungarees. Literally a week after I bought my first ones, I decided I need another pair. And 
I could not resist these. These are right up my street. So again, Lucy and Yap, an independent company, and they love working with designers and illustrators to collaborate on amazing limited edition pairs of dungarees like these. This is with a designer called Katie E, and I just could not resist the colours. Um, I absolutely love like navies and like dirty yellow, mucky yellow, that's what I call it. So I couldn't help but get these. Sorry if you can hear that motorbike. Again, got them in a size small, leg length 30, and they are just so comfy and oversized. I did think like, oh my god, will I be able to wear these with loads of stuff, or are they not going to match with anything? But I actually find them so super simple to match things with. Oh, all the dungarees have like this tie here, so they're fully adjustable. You just like pull the top through and then you can like tie a little bow or whatever you want there so that don't worry about like your shoulders or the size of your chest because they've got you covered. So yeah, that was my like first Lucy and Yak haul. I kind of went hard <laughs> and I absolutely loved them. That was back in like September, October. And then obviously when it came around to Christmas, I was like, Santa, please, anything from Lucy and Yak. So that was also my Christmas list anything Lucy and Yak and I would be over the moon. And Santa delivered. Santa bought me my third pair of dungarees, which is probably super excessive, but I could not resist. So these are the organic corduroy, again, dungarees in sailor blue. Um, it's a bit more of a subdued color without being black. And again, it's a great neutral that works in my wardrobe. Size small, leg like length 30, and they've got the same ties. And I wear these all the time as well. I literally just wear dungarees now. Um, they work so well in your wardrobe and they're just so, so comfy. Like you just will not wear jeans again once you've worn dungarees. They've all got like a tapered leg. And again, I think these are 54 pounds, which is amazing. Yeah, I absolutely love them. Pockets here, big pocket in the front, which is fab for your phone. And I'll show you how I style these at the end of the video too. So thanks to Father Christmas for those ones. And then at Christmas as well, my lovely sister delivered and got me a Lucy and Yak t-shirt. Sorry about the creases, I am not one for ironing. Again, it's organic cotton and it's like that real oversized 90s feel. This makes me feel like a TV presenter. Like you know, when you wear block colours. Um, this is a size small, and obviously it's quite big, so it is supposed to be oversized. I'm looking forward to wearing this in the summer, just with like some shorts underneath, for like a really chilled look. This is 18 pounds, so again, really reasonably priced, and they do it in loads of different colours there. They have changed the design slightly, it now has like a logo on the front, but when I got it, it's just super duper plain. So that's a real basic. And my final and one of my favourite pieces, if I could ever choose, is the Hadley sweater. So I think my sister got this for me for my birthday. I knew I wanted this as soon as I saw it because of the colour. This is one of my favourite colours ever. Like, I call it mucky yellow, so it's like a real dirty mustard colour. I wear this all the time. Again, super oversized. I got size small. And this is £35 organic cotton and they do it in a few different colours as well as like a gorgeous green colour and maybe like a pale pink but the mustard was an obvious choice for me so this is like a real leggings kind of vibe or it looks great over the dungarees so it really goes well with the patterned ones because they've got the yellow in or the navy ones as well it looks gorgeous with those and again they have changed the design slightly it now has like a Lucy and Yap logo on the front but um I got mine when it was just plain and I absolutely love it Oh, I love this colour so much. It makes me so, so happy. And I love oversized things, if you can't tell. So yeah, that is my Lucy and Yak collection. Seven items. I don't know if that's like overkill in six months, but I just can't resist. And to be fair, I wear everything all the time. They're constantly on rotation, in the wash, out the wash. As soon as they dry, I pop them on. I don't wear anything else now. I think everyone's bored of seeing me in dungarees. But for me, it's worth supporting an independent company that has the right ethics on sustainability and ethical fashion, something that we all need to be moving towards, and the fact that they can provide this at great prices and great quality, and fab customer service too, is something that I really want to support. 
So let's move on to me trying on the clothes and styling them for you. Okay, do excuse the view of the bookcase. I'm trying to find like the widest angle I can to show you. This is the first pair of dungarees, the ash pink ones. And this is how I would probably style them in like spring, summer. They've got an oversized tee on underneath, which is super simple. And I styled them with vans. I hope you can see those. I love it because it's kind of like super casual and um, still comfy, still kind of flattering, not as unflattering as you might think. And yeah, I would style these with vans or docks probably. I love these vans because they're like a clashing pink. And I just think that's really cool, but it's not like super duper matching. Um, let me go get another layer for this. So if you needed another layer, I would pop a little cardi on with this. I think this looks so cute. Um, kind of keeping with neutral colours. Super casual, good for like Sunday brunch, going to the supermarket, whatever you want to do. Um, and a cardi is cool because you can like see the dungarees underneath um, and it adds a bit more than just like your normal casual outfit. Yep, that's number one. Okay, so this is look number two. This is the really super colourful dungarees. One thing that I've noticed that wasn't actually on purpose is that I do have like a colour palette in my wardrobe which is kind of good because it means you've kind of got a little capsule wardrobe and everything can go together like interchangeably so a lot of these items I'm showing you can go with different items this is how I'd wear this at this time of year so I've got a little polo neck um, and this matches perfectly with the colours in the dungarees these ones have pockets in the side rather than at the front and then they're still a big pocket and the tie straps Pop them on with docks, like my boot versions. Absolutely love dock boots, they go with anything and they make it look just super cool and like you haven't really tried. Super easy. Um, so yeah, this is like the oversized dungarees vibe. And these ones do go with everything, honestly. Like I really haven't found it that difficult. And I absolutely love the colours. Okay, so we've got the third pair of dungarees now, the kind of navy sailor blue ones. Like I said, these are a lot more subdued and they go great with everything else in my wardrobe. This top's one of my favourites, it's from Urban Outfitters ages ago. It's got that mucky yellow striping again. This top actually goes with the other two dungarees as well, the pink and the patterned one, which you think is a bit crazy, but it looks great. And I absolutely love how simple this is, it's so comfy. And actually with all the dungarees, I get them in leg length 30 so I do do a couple of roll-ups on the bottom because I am a short gal and I've got these on with my dock shoes again I just think the docks look really cool and this is how I would style these on a weekend or whenever I get the opportunity to be honest with you so to show you the Hadley sweatshirt I'm just going to pop it on with these dungarees because I think it looks great with the navy Sorry about all the creasing, it's just come out the wash. So this is the oversized Hadley sweatshirt. As you can see, it is like super oversized. The sleeves are really long. It's really baggy in the body. This is a size small. This is how I love my clothes to fit. I think it looks great with the dungarees because now it looks like you've got a cool pair of like cord trousers on. And again, it goes really well with the navy. You could also wear this with leggings and little shorts in the summer if you need that kind of thing to throw on. I just absolutely love the colour of this, I'm obsessed, and who doesn't love an oversized sweatshirt, right? Okay, this is the next look. This is the Alexa organic cotton trousers with the elasticated waist, and this is how I would typically wear these. I think these are a great option if you don't want to wear jeans all the time. They're super comfy, but they're not like trackies. You've got pockets, which is amazing, and I do roll them up again. Um, at the bottom, I wear them with docks, which is probably my favourite look with them, and they're like ruched on the back, so your bum's nice and shapely, and I think it looks great with just like a t-shirt tucked in, super simple, this is actually from another sustainable one that I love called Dedicated, I'll link this down below, and yeah, if I add the Delilah shirt, I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so this is the look of the Delilah cropped shirt, it's quite an androgynous look, but that's what I go for really. So this is the crop shirt with the cord. I just tend to wear it open on an outfit like this. It's really cool because it meets the waist where the trousers do. So it's not like too oversized. It kind of compensates for the trousers being a little bit baggy. And this is basically my perfect gig look. 
the trousers will keep you super warm if you're waiting outside, um, but they're really comfy. Docs, obviously super comfy for standing up for loads of times. And this little shirt is perfect because I hate wearing like a coat or a jacket to a gig. You don't want to be super freezing if you're waiting or walking home or whatever. So I often take a little rucksack and this folds up perfectly or you could tie it around your waist for when you get too warm. That's the kind of look I would go for for a gig. And I know it's quite monochrome and completely different to the dungarees, but that is how I would style these two pieces. This is the final piece. It's the organic t-shirt in like a lavender color. Like I said, they do do it in other colors. This is the size small. So it is huge and nicely oversized with sleeves down to the elbows. Such a 90s vibe, such a TV presenter vibe in the 90s. And I absolutely love it. You can wear it with leggings or like cycling shorts in the summer, to the beach, just as a cover up. Um, and I just think it's so soft. That is my final piece of my Lucy and Yak collection. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been so excited to film it, to show you guys my favorite brand, Lucy and Yak. Do check them out. I'll leave their website and all the items below. Like the video, give me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about sustainability in fashion and if you've got any favorite brands. And please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.